Simpson's one-third rule is one method of area computation method that comes under area computation by taking offsets from the baseline in civil engineering, surveying calculations. Other methods coming under this category are the mid-ordinate rule, the trapezoidal rule, and the average ordinate rule. All these methods are employed when the boundary line is nearly straight. When the boundary line is curved or slightly deviates from a straight line, we employ Simpson's one-third rule. Here, the curve portion of the boundary line is assumed to be a parabolic curve. To proceed with the calculations, we draw offsets from the baseline, enclosing the curve portion of the boundary line. Let's check into the procedure of finding area by Simpson's one-third rule. We consider a curved boundary line, which is part of a survey line, whose curved parabolic portion is DFC, that is under consideration. So we are supposed to calculate the area enclosed under this parabolic curve. We consider a baseline, AB, from which the offsets need to be taken perpendicular and parallel to each other. They form O0, O1, and O2 as shown in the figure. The corresponding code of the parabolic curve, DFC, is DC. This will finally give a trapezoid and a segment. Hence, the total area of the shaded portion ABCFT needed to be determined can be given as total area is equal to area of trapezium plus the area of segment. The area of ABCFT is equal to the area of ABCD plus area of the segment DHCF. Now, area of ABCD, that is the area of trapezoidal, can be given as half times the sum of the opposite sides into the base. That is, from the figure, half times AD plus BC, the whole multiplied by the base, that is AB. That is given by half into AD and BC are the offsets, so O0 plus O2 into 2 times D. D is the interval formed between each offsets. Area of ABCD is equal to D into O0 plus O2. That can be given as equation 1. Now next is the area of the segment DHCF, which can be given by two-third of the area of the parallelogram enclosing the segment. The area of segment can be given in generally as two-third of the area of the parallelogram enclosed or area of a segment can be given as the two-third of the area of the parallelogram that encloses those segment. So here, the area of the segment DHCF can be given as two-third of the area of CDEG. That is two-third multiplied by FH into CD. Here, CD can be approximately taken equal to the baseline AB, which is 2D. FH can be given as O1 minus HI. HI is the mid-ordinate, which can be given as the average of the ordinates on the either sides. That is O0 plus O2 divided by 2. Area of the segment, hence, can be given as two-third of O1 minus half into O0 plus O2, the whole multiplied by 2D. Now, we can calculate the total area for intervals 1 and 2 as the area of the segment plus the area of the trapezoid. So area of interval 1, 2 is given by half O0 plus O2 into 2D plus 2 by 3, O1 minus O0 plus O2 divided by 2, whole multiplied by 2D. So after solving, we get the area 1, 2 of the interval 1, 2 can be given as D by 3 into O0 plus 4, O1 plus O2. Similarly, if we are considering an nth interval, so for example, if you are considering the interval 3 and 4, we get the area of the interval 3 and 4 as d by 3 into O2 plus 4, O3 plus O4. Hence, the area of the last two intervals, that will be n minus 1 and nth interval, will be given as d by 3 into O n minus 2 plus 4, O n minus 1 plus O n. So the total area is given by delta is equal to delta 1, 2 plus delta 3, 4 plus delta n minus 1 comma n. Hence, we can solve all this together and finally get a general formula that is delta is equal to d by 3 into O0 plus On plus 4 times O1 plus O3 plus On minus 1 plus 2 into O2 plus O4 plus the in-between values if, there, if it exists and final one is On minus 2. So, the Simpson's one-third rule states that the total area is equal to the sum of the two end coordinates that is O0 plus On plus 4 times the sum of the even intermediate coordinates plus 2 times the sum of the old intermediate ordinates, the whole divided by one third of the common interval between them. Simpson's one third rule can only be applied when the number of coordinates of the particular boundary line is odd number. So when it is even coordinates, we need to consider only the area till the odd coordinates and the other pending 
area has to be determined by another means and the area need to be calculated. In this example, we consider a boundary line that has been divided into certain portions by means of offsets that is taken from a baseline. As shown, the number of ordinates present here is equal to 6, that is, it is equal to even numbers. So, as the equation proceeds, as we have derived the equation, we consider the first two intervals, that is delta 1, 2, as the first area, where we consider O0, O1 and O2, whose areas have calculated. That is added to the next interval area, that is delta 3, 4 area, which includes ordinates O2, O3 and O4. Now, when we consider the next area, we don't have a, a full set to calculate or to apply the equation, as we have explained in the Simpsons one third rule. So, this is why we explain that it can be only applied to odd number of coordinates. In these situations, what we do is, we calculate the area from O0 to O4, that is, till the coordinate O4, and this, this area has to be determined separately, and the whole has to be calculated. The area of the last portion can be calculated by half into the sum of the opposite sides into the base, that is the area formula for a trapezium.